Finals of a European Tour event with the PDC. Mike Lawrence alongside me. Yes, I think Justin uh, has decided he's going to try and play along with it. That's the best policy rather than... Well, he very rarely gets wound up by anything, Justin. And wearing the earplugs, I'm sure, will help. And I'm sure will be needed uh, once Max Hop gets up and flying. Taking out Mervyn King, one of the seeds last night, 6-3. He's in seven perfect darts in that uh, game. In the final leg, in fact. He did a nine darter in the qualifier here on Thursday night. Did Max Hop. But he's up against Justin Pipe, who... Took out the jammy dodger, James Wilson, 6-5. Was pushed all the way, was uh, Justin Pipe. But two 180s in the final leg really helped him on his way. Yeah, 98 average in that game, Justin Pipe. So, playing some good stuff. As the walk-on girls give it the old Gareth Bale, heart, hands thing. Michael Smith's a big fan of that. I'm not. <laughs> but, you know, each to their own. Yeah, Max Hop. 6-0, 6-0, 6-0 in the qualifiers. 6-2 against Kevin McDyne in round one and 6-3 versus Mervyn King. So he's only lost five of the last 35 legs of darts. That is some run to be on, particularly when you've got a nine darter thrown in there as well. That certainly is impressive. First leg, Justin, two, three, and I think game on. A, a, a lot of weight on Max Hop's shoulders as he's talked about as being... the player from Germany to break through into the world's elite. He's only 18 years old as well, so... 140! There's Justin Pipe. Kicks off with a nice, solid ton 40. I think the crowd thought his first two darts were in there. 180 cards at the ready. Justin did, of course, make the final of the European Tour event a couple of weeks ago in Venray. Fair to say, 85. Michael Van Gerwen rather untroubled in that final. A 6-0 win in double quick time. Yes, Justin had rather run out of steam, unfortunately, by the time the what? final came around. It was a weird old event, to be fair. I mean, that side of the draw, nobody really stood up and... You know, produce their best darts. Justin got through to the final. He didn't average over 93 the whole weekend. And when you look at the games we've seen this afternoon, where we've seen a, a number of ton-plus averages, we've seen people average 100 and lose this afternoon. Mm, yeah, definitely. It's a curious weekend in Van Rijs. Max Hop misses out on the first maximum of the match, but he's down to a finish, albeit a big one. And the winner of this game will take on Michael Van Gerwen or Benito van der Paz. That game's up next, completing the third round. 100. I actually require 161. Action this afternoon here in Risa. So Justin Pike 65. comes back. Justin, you're 76. 76. Get up and running. One or two whistles and cat calls. 16 for tops. Or it looks like he's going 20 double 18. Yeah, he likes the double 18, Justin. 58. Not today. Max, you require 96. Well, he's not that busy. Now Max Hop hit 25 of his last dart to leave him on a two darter. Now, is it double double? Could be double 18 for double top here. No, he tried to go over the top of that first dart. Unable to 56. do so. Just but it's that double line. 18. Won't want to go inside. And then have to split Game it. No, no trouble at all. Just in, in 16 so darts. To throw first. Justin Pike is up and running. Winner of the Austrian Darts Open in 2012, Justin 60. Pipe. 
Yeah, the very first European Tour event as a European Tour in its current incarnation, if you like. We had five events back in 2012. Very first one. Won by this man here. And then he reached the final at the start of 2014 in Hildesheim, beaten by Gary Anderson. And as you mentioned, the final in Venray a fortnight ago. One of, I think it's only five players, Justin Pipes, have played in every single European Tour event. 41. That is a testament to his consistency. Last time he actually won a Pro Tour event was back end of last year, around about October time, just before the Grand Prix. Won it in Dublin as he looks at... Oh, is it there? 140. Couldn't quite tell, but it's just a ton 40. But back to back ton 40s to start this leg on the hop throw. Strong start from Justin Pipe. 100. Max has reached this stage of a European Tour event before now. He made the last 16 on his debut. The Dutch Darts Masters back in 2012. 54. Hasn't got this far since then. Nobody from Germany has made the quarterfinals before. Can Max create a bit of history here this weekend? He's on a roll, no doubt about that. The pipe is on a finish, will be 59. a big one. Justin, you recall 167. There's the first bit. Well, he will look to 99. Come back and break the throw of the young German. Forty-one. Yes, there's still no one, nowhere near a, Justin, you a finish. Max up. Well, the double fourteen then. Forty. We hit the double nine in the previous leg. He'll come back, looking at double fourteen. Men saw Sulevich's favourite. Not many people leave it. It's good in that if you get your, your line right, the, the weight of dot, you've got a bit of a bit of leeway there. 100. But the problem with the 14, Just of course, is that the breakdown isn't particularly good. No, double seven no. is not great. And if you hit the seven, but then you've got to hit the three for double two. It's all a bit messy and scrappy and end up in the madhouse. That's OK for Justin, though, with the way his darts lie. And can he just slam off the barrels of those and into the little red bit? He Game can. Shot he can. The second leg, <laughs> just in by. So two nil and Pipe looking to so do a job on the to throw first. young German. Game on. As the walk-on girls are wrapped up for winter, by the look of uh, things, huddled backstage. It is a huge. Vast space like an aircraft hangar, this Saxon Arena, and uh, 100. It has been getting a bit nippy at times in here. It was certainly pretty warm last night when Max Hopp was taking on Mervyn King. <laughs> yeah, sweating profusely up on stage, Mervyn King. 78. And he did use the crowd in that game, did Max. He seemed to be, it seemed to lift him. Uh, found the big shots at the right time. Everybody's going bonkers in the hall here. He'll want to do that again, but he's got to give him something to shout about. At the moment, he's not really troubling 100. Justin at all. Justin Pipe and Slippers. Just plodding along. Level ton, that'll do me. Get down to a finish. I'll take it out. I mean, he's won in 16 50. darts. And he's broken the throw in 18 darts there. I mean, that's... Final day of the tournament. That's when you need to raise your game. You're playing at your best. 
We've seen it from a number of guys today already. And I think the other players and darts fans alike now are so used to Justin Pipes throwing style, but whether that's something that might be throwing Max off his stride, just the waiting around at the back of the stage rather than being able to get on with the job. Justin Uribe, 161. I don't know, but for three nil here, Justin Pipe looking at the big 161 out shot, but he will have opportunity to come back and polish this off. But could really do with a big treble. Would become uh, very handy indeed. Doesn't 51. hit one, but knocks off the odd one at least. So 110 when he returns. Yeah, he's going for the 25 there, because if he had hit that, it would have left him on a two-dot finish. Uh, with the second dot, it was just below the treble bed. And the way that Justin throws his dots, it looked really inviting from just plonk Five another years. one on the top there. Justin, you require 110. But he's still favourite for this leg and could go 3-0 up here. Treble 18 for double 18. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that was absolutely nowhere near. 42. I actually require 167. Well, this would raise the roof if Max Hot was to take out 167. Uh, ain't gonna happen. Ninety-seven. Justin, you require sixty-eight. A couple of Luigi's in the crowd. Well, he's going to leave himself double fourteen again, I think. Here, Justin Pipe. Oh, he's a little bit close to the treble there. For three nil. Forty. Well, actually requires seventy. A chance. A big chance from Axop. Crowd getting behind him. Double eight. Double four. And hits double four. He gets a leg on the board. I'm sure that will give him a lift. And it's given the home fans finally something to cheer about. Game on. And that was. A break of throw as well. Well, he survived the dart for 3-0, Max Hop. He's got a leg on the board. Got a foothold in this game now. Can he push on from there? He's given the fans something to shout about. 100. They will cheer every treble he hits. You see there, his, his scoring has not been not been good enough in the opening three legs of this. He's had to rely on Justin missing doubles. He did oblige in that last leg. But they were the first darts at double that Max Hobbard had in the match because he was just nowhere near in those opening. 95. A good first nine average from Justin Pipe. See all those, all those numbers there, the stats coming from that team of guys. That, that crack team. Yeah. 26. <laughs> They're like the A-team, but with numbers and stats. Forty-two. Well, a poor visit from Justin Pipe. And a great chance for Max Hop. To pile on, if you can, on his throat and make it all square. Yeah. A ton of force comes in. Sixteen. Well, Justin Pipe on that run to the final in Ben Ray a couple of weeks ago. He kind of made it his business to end the hopes of some oh, up-and-coming young star players. That's, that's what he was about, Justin Pipe. Uh, and then he beat Josh Payne, beat Nathan Aspinall, beat Roby John Rodriguez, beat David Venkin, 
Right, David Venkman's not a particularly young player. 140, Max Eric 95. Looking to do the same here in Germany, but Max Hopp can level the match. Double 19 he wants. 76. Well, he's probably Justin coming Uruguay, back. 164. Probably. It's Justin Pipe is looking at 164. Definitely coming back. One hundred to level it up. Then actually required nineteen. Well, Ooh. he's hit six, so thirteen left. One for double six. Well, 13. making a little bit of a mess of That's that. Actually required sixty-four. Is Max Hop and a great chance for Justin to break back again. Looking at another one of those for double 16. 32. Max requires six. Well, he hit it with his first dart last time out. <laughs> he didn't mean to. No. I was just aim where you were going last time yeah. for the fat three. Oh, no he's score. gone for two double two and he's oh, missed the big number. Well, that is. I know he's only 18, but I was going to say that's a schoolboy error, but you don't want to be giving chances to a player like Justin Pike because he will step Justin up like that and take them. Or, I don't know, maybe this Maybe the occasion. I don't know, Max Hopp has, has dealt with all of that so far in this tournament but coming into the final day knowing that if he is on form today if he plays his best game something magical could happen maybe that's just got the better of him here because he's not playing to the standard that we've seen from him over the last three days you know the qualifiers he was superb hit his first nine data saw off Kevin McDyne pretty impressively 100. And then, of course, beat Mervyn King. Two wins out of two against Mervyn King for Max Hopp, having beaten him at the World Championship. Of course. The prize money for these guys were the third round losers. Guaranteed £2,000 in prize money. 100. And the prize money running up, uh, going upwards to the runner-up, taking home £10,000, and the winner taking home £25,000. 100. Semi finalist five grand, quarter finalist three and a half grand. So, this tournament certainly can be worthwhile for those players. Ninety-six. Who take part in them? Yeah, not to be sniffed at. Twenty-five grand for a weekend's work. 134. A bit more like it from Max Hopp. Gets down to a finish. Chance of breaking back here. Oh, that's a lovely first start from Justin, though. It's right where he wants it. Oh, just, just stick it on the top of those two. Just plonk it on 180. Ooh. 125. Oh, they were laying beautifully. 167. He left this earlier on and didn't take it out then. Hasn't taken it out this time. 59. Justin, you require 122. Yeah, a bit of frustration from Max Hop there. Put himself in a position to break the pipe throw and he may, may not get a chance to. Now he gets a dart at the bullseye for 4-1. And it's Game there, it is the there, 122 check out from Justin Pike. Max to throw first. Game on. In a game which has seen a number of missed doubles, that could prove to be a telling blow. And Justin Pike now the favourite to make, make progress in another European Tour event. 
And book a place in the quarter final against Michael Van Gerwen, who whitewashed him in the final in Venray a fortnight ago. Either Michael Van Gerwen or Benito van der Pass. Another dangerous young player on the scene, the Dutchman van der Pass. 46. Well, that could, that could be incredible. Okay. If Benito plays like Benito has shown us on the European Tour already, he has beaten Michael van Gerwen, beat him in Gibraltar in a phenomenal game of darts. 100. If he can produce something along those lines against Michael van Gerwen, we're in for a cracker to round off this afternoon session. An afternoon session that has seen some top, top performances from some big names in the world of darts. Dave Chisnell, Stephen Bunting, Ian 59. White, Terry Jenkins, Michael Smith. They've all sent a little message out to the rest of the contenders for this title. Saying you're going to have to play very well to knock me out. Right now, 99. Justin Pipe is not playing anywhere near the top of his game, but he is 4-1 up. On the 18-year-old from Germany, Max Hopp. One hundred. So advantage with Max Hopp in this leg, especially if he continues to hit the red bit like he's done there with the first two. Just. Uh, Gonna have a look at the score, so that would leave him with 87. 137. Yeah, nearly got a bit carried away there. <laughs> Firing in a maximum would have left him on 27, which obviously isn't a check out. In the end, it would have been preferable to leave him 70, but now a maximum here gives Justin a chance. Because Max has missed doubles. 140. And 140 Major probably isn't enough. Not quite as much pressure on this as there could have been. Double eight. Double four. And, and he gets it. Six Max, Max Hopp. Hopp makes it 4 2. Seven flag, just into throw first. He's not Game going off. away just yet. German crowd trying to lift their man with the imaginative chant of hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Strong work from the two and a half thousand in Risa. 140. Yeah, I was hoping to turn this into a competitive game and certainly wouldn't want to roll over at the hands of Justin Pipe. 140. And well, that may have just given him a bit of a lift, winning that uh, leg to reduce the arrears because Justin Pipe was in danger of running away with it. One hundred. I say running away with it as, as quickly as yeah. Justin can run Figure on the hockey. A shot of Max Hop's stance at there. And there's a... He's got a bit of the Justin Pipe 60. back leg lifting action. Justin's is really exaggerated. The last dart of his previous visit, Justin, he nearly did a high kick with that back <laughs> leg. There you go. Mm, great darts. Great darts, Justin Pipe. 121. Max needs two trebles here. He's got one. But one's not enough. Does Justin Pipe, six darts from 140 for a 5-2 lead. Max Hopp's only lost five legs of darts in the last three days. Justin Pipe could be about to take a fifth of him this afternoon. Yeah, another one of those. 100. So back for a nice double top when he returns. And all Hop can do is hope to put some pressure on it and make some noise or get the crowd to make some noise and Just that would have done 40. that but whether it makes any difference to Justin Pipe remains to be seen
few whistles, but whether or not he can Gage hear them, it matters not. He turned round as if to say to the crowd, well, yeah, I could hear you, but I don't on. care. Yeah, they got a glare. I've got a little thumbs up and a, and a <laughs> smile off him, but I don't think it was quite that genial when he turned around and gave him daggers. The upshot is, though, he's one leg away. 60. Max Hop has got to win four consecutive legs here. He's not been able to win two consecutive legs in this match against Justin Pipe so far. He's just not thrown the kind of stuff that he's been throwing over the last few days. 97. One hundred and forty. That gets him back on track after a disappointing first visit to the board in this eighth leg for Max Hop. Not much in those averages, as you can see there. Just a few missed doubles at the wrong time. One hundred and forty. That hundred and twenty-two checkout from Justin was a big one. You see, two from seven. 29% not really good enough. 38% it is his average. It's just a normal sort of game for these guys. That looks good for Justin Pipe. He'd be disappointed if he doesn't stick another one in that treble bed. Ooh, just the time. I think for the first time now, Justin's average has moved into the 90s. 60. Justin, you record 164. Which is nothing to write home about, but it has been enough so far against Max Hop, and he could well close it out here. Oh, well. Not quite what the doctor 44. ordered. From Justin Pipe, just 44, 144. leaving Shanghai on the 20s when he comes back, if he comes back. And he will be doing so. So Justin Pipe just composing himself at the back of the stage, looking to take out 120 Justin, to book his place in the quarterfinals. Treble 20, single 20 tops. The first part is done. The second part's there as well. One match dart for Justin Pipe. 6-2. And the and Germans' the hopes come to Justin an end Pipe. here in Risa. It was a phenomenal weekend for Max Hoff. He's played some really good stuff and taken some notable scouts. It's also a weekend which has seen him hit a nine dart in qualifying. This lad has a big, big future. But Justin Pipe is the man through to the quarterfinals. A 6-2 win. And he's bought himself the opportunity to turn up tonight and try and find his A game. That was not it. Who's he going to face? We will find out in just a few moments. It's either Benito van der Pass or the world number one Michael van Gerwen, who gave Justin a bit of a schooling in the final in Venray a couple of weeks ago. Those two take the stage Justin, shortly in our final game of the afternoon uh, session. Here is your winner, Justin Pike. You win the finals and you played against Michael van Gerwen, and possibly this could also be your next opponent in the quarterfinals. So are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am. Obviously, Michael's got to beat Benito, and um, Benito's playing really well. Michael, obviously, he, he's the best player in the world at the moment. So, to, to be honest, I've got, I've got to say thank you, everybody, because I was expecting a lot of boos, a lot of whistles, and you were all brilliant. So, thank you very much. And Max Hop, Max Hop's your future, guys. So, support him. Thank you for that, Justin. Also, we, we've seen your, your dancing abilities, and they're very impressive. Do you practice them quite often? <laughs> I practice the darts more often. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're good in both of them anyway. So thank you, congratulations, through to the quarterfinals. Justin Pipe!